Hi everyone, come on in. It's time for Art with Ruris. So today I will uh, talk about this render setting called White Point and what's its purpose and how we can use it and what's the alternative if we don't want to adjust this White Point setting from Death Studio. Okay, so let's take a look at how this white point comes into our rendering scenario so by default this value is always 111 okay so sometimes when you um if you have uh, some bot products some kind of hdri most of the time when you apply it it may manipulate this number so as you can see right here the, the the skin of the model looks way more natural correct and when i set the white point back to the default values it has a much stronger orange tint so what does that mean is that the developer of this product they purposely select a more orange value as the white point to neutralize the tint. Mm, okay, maybe I'll, this this uh, value I just randomly selected, so it needs further tuning. But as you can see, the value that the developer select is a slightly more muted brown color, so it created a nice, uh, more natural skin tone color. So the the option you have is you can play around with all the values here and just select one until it fits your purpose like this one is quite nice as well or what if you don't want to what if you are worried that okay my white point may not be suitable and i want more flexible options so what you do is you just render it with the default value okay you don't care that it has a strong orange tint now we move it we move our i created two render one is with the white point setting that the developer provide and this is the default 111 white point so i just put it side by side as a, as a demonstration of what kind of option you have in photoshop or your favorite uh, visual editor so what i want you to do is in your picture without the in your render without the white balance you add this adjustment layer called curves so in curves there are three main value here and all these three can either be used individually or in a combined manner but for this demonstration i will just use uh, one setting i will just use the white point to adjust the, the overall curves of this thing so by clicking this option the next step is to actually select a color from the image itself so just to enlarge things a bit so let's test a few value i'm just going to test a more darker spot okay so when you select a darker spot if you neutralize more of the orange and create a stronger white effect so if i click the hair obviously the whole thing will be totally washed out yep so what you should do is select a patch of skin that is more white but not entirely white like over here okay so if you are just eyeballing it looks essentially the same as on the left side as the one that you directly render with a white point setting correct but of course the background is slightly altered but that is not an issue if you are using your own props as well 
So let's try another color. Okay. Let's try the let's try the the nails, okay, to dark. <laughs> yeah, so this one looks very natural as well. And in fact I think it's uh, slightly less orange than the default render, but of course this all depends on personal taste. So there you have it, you have a lot of options. The first first option would be to adjust your white point over here. Okay, you neutralize most of the orange tint or you can render in default white point transfer your image into Photoshop and add the adjustment layer curves click on this the set white point and choose the part of the skin of your model that is close to white and you can choose a few spots to see the color that you prefer for your end result. So I hope this session is information for you and thanks for watching and subscribing. I'll see you later.